Hey everyone, my name is Justin Fox and welcome to the channel, where we talk about news involving gaming, pop culture, and other topics in quick discussions to give you straight to the point news about various topics in the world. Today we're going to talk about one of the three main giants of video games, and what they're planning to do this year in terms of their newest hardware. As you know it's getting close to that time again, where both Sony and Microsoft announced their newest consoles for the generation, and the newest games that come with it. Xbox has already showcased their hardware design, along with the lackluster trailer featuring games that could be played on previous hardware, and Nintendo is still keeping steady with the Nintendo Switch, and isn't planning on releasing any new hardware this year. But Sony has been keeping quiet this whole time, making small announcements and statements here and there. However, it looks like they're about to ramp things up after they updated their website on May 26, giving a few more details on what people can expect from the console. You can see here on the website it talks about lightning speed, harness the power of a custom CPU, GPU, and SSD with integrated input-output that rewrite the rules of what a PlayStation console can do. Stunning games, marvel at incredible graphics and experience new PS5 features, and breathtaking immersion. Discover a deeper gaming experience with support for haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and 3D audio technology. That's not all that's being teased though, because Sony has just released a teaser for their livestream event that will take place on June 4th at 1pm Pacific Time, which might give a first look at the console for the first time. <laughs> We've already gotten a look at the controller for the PS5, which looks like they may be going for a more futuristic and innovative design to appeal to more customers. If you compare it to the Xbox Series S controller change, there isn't much of a difference other than slight ergonomic changes and an additional share button, but Microsoft might be taking the if it ain't broke don't fix it approach to the controller, since it's already a well made and comfortable design to begin with. This simplistic approach also goes for the console itself with Microsoft paving the internal hardware by focusing on the cooling system and other parts to be both effective and quiet when playing games. It's also designed to be convenient, as opposed to the large shapes of the consoles that came before it, but Sony might have other plans, since they've already made a name for the newest DualShock controller called DualSense, meaning that they might be willing to innovate and get creative to overtake the competition again from Microsoft. This means that a lot of work is being put into the PlayStation 5, but all that work is beginning to look a bit price heavy because Bloomberg wrote an article back in February claiming that the PlayStation 5 is costing $450 to manufacture, due to expensive parts being used for it, especially the cooling system, which the PS4 was criticized for, due to the loud noises that the cooling system would make. This might mean that Sony is looking towards the $499 price range for the system, but Bloomberg also mentions that Sony is doing the wait and see strategy, waiting to see what Microsoft sells their console for to one-up them in sales. Whether or not this means that they're willing to take a loss to stay on top is too early to say, because neither of the companies have announced a price for their newest systems yet, and we may not see the price until later on this year. Taking this into account, it's easy to summarize that Sony isn't going to announce a price in their event, but rather showcasing actual games in development for the PlayStation 5. I wouldn't expect to see many surprises though, because Sony is planning to showcase multiple digital events throughout the year in their state of play events, starting in early August. These events will showcase both current and next gen games, and may or may not showcase more information about the system as well. This is most likely to get the best case scenario out of the current pandemic that's going on right now, since E3 isn't likely to be returning anytime soon, and many people are stuck at home next to their televisions, phones, or computers. In regards to games that they might be showcasing, let's go down the list to see what's already confirmed and what may or may not be shown in the event.
Godfall, a third-person fantasy role-playing game which is being developed by Counterplay and published by Gearbox, might make another appearance since that game is slated to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Whether or not we'll get a release date other than late 2020 though is a bit unlikely. Unfortunately, Godfall is the only game that's been confirmed to be an exclusive, but other games are going to be upgraded to appear next gen, so we may see a lot of those. We awoke from one nightmare into another. Not on our dying earth, but somewhere much worse. We came to Enoch as our last chance, a chance at a new home. But what we found didn't save humanity, it consumed it. We awoke changed, the anomaly unleashed within us, burning with power, impossible power. robs us of our humanity, yet gives us so much more. Each step taking us further from what we were, and closer to what we must become.
had a good run there for a while. Now it's all riots, bombings, and people thrown in cages like animals. Oh, and who could forget the killer robots everywhere? So yeah, that's all gonna be It's up to us to take our city back. Thing is, we can't do it alone. We need to recruit a resistance. I know what you're thinking. Where do we start? Open your eyes and take a look around. Look here. Look at him. No, not him. Him. Former MI5. Duty never ends. He can get anywhere and erase anyone. See her? Let's kick those out of London. She got kicked out of Oxbridge Robotics School for teaching him to uh, reproduce. <laughs> and that fellow over there? Proper. Come on, come at me. He'll crack your skull just for looking at him funny. Had better be good. And allow me to introduce you to the deadliest of the law. She's not old, she's experienced. Like I said, you can recruit anyone, and I mean anyone. Him, her, everyone is a secret weapon. Find them, recruit them. Build the resistance. Let's un this world. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. But it's there, just around the corner, and it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer.
there may be other surprises in the event as well, such as remakes or new IPs, but I wouldn't hold my breath to those theories, since this might just be an event to show off the console and a few games for it. This is certainly an early start for the new consoles to be showcased though, and I think Sony might have an advantage here. But all of that depends on if they make the right call with the price and if their innovations with the system manage to gain the right amount of attention. Because if their system falls flat due to glitches or rush development time, then we just might see another situation with the PlayStation 2 or Xbox 360 fiasco. In terms of the price, you can't charge too much or people are less likely to buy it early on. And if you charge too little, then you'll be selling at a major loss that you may or may not get out of. Whether or not Sony can upsell the PlayStation 5 in this event or other events that come after it though, only time will tell. That's all for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you're a fan of comic books, then check out my comic book called The Ultimate Crusaders, a sci-fi action adventure series based on the mid-90s and early 2000s action cartoons and comics. If you want to learn more about it, there'll be a link at the end of the video and in the description. This is Justin Fox and I'll see you all later.